Well, we are just under three weeks from Thanksgiving. In fact, I believe three weeks from today is Black Friday. For some, that is their first day of shopping for the Christmas and holiday season. For others, they started their Christmas shopping and they just maximize it a little bit on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Although I have found over the years that Black Friday shopping is <laughs> probably already started three weeks out because it's nothing more than a competition for sales. And I get that and I respect that. Well, I have been publishing Christmas gift guides ever since I started YouTube, whatever year <laughs> that was so long ago, but I have been publishing Christmas gift guides. I've published an under $25 gift guide, a $25 to $50 gift guide, and a luxury gift guide with gift recommendations that are above the $50 price point. I've also done an annual men's Christmas gift guide. I've done teen Christmas gift guides. I've done tech Christmas gift guides, you name it. I've had several throughout the years. Now, when I first started publishing Christmas gift guides, I would tax myself <laughs> and my family by ordering in every single thing that I wanted to share as a gift recommendation. Now, the problem with that is not all of the things that I ordered in did I need to give as gifts. I'll be completely honest with you, I don't have a lofty Christmas list. Although we have a big family, I don't really have that many people that I buy gifts for because I don't buy gifts for extended family or people outside of my initial circle, meaning my children, my sons-in-laws, my grandchildren. Paul and I don't even really buy for one another because we put the focus on our children and grandchildren. And if he or I need anything, we just buy it. We are in that position and we're both happy with that. I know what I need. I know what I want. He knows what he needs. He knows what he wants. Just buy it. It makes no sense <laughs> with the little bit of extra time that we have to have him tell me directly what he wants and then I buy it for him and then I take the time to wrap it for him. I just don't see an ROI when it comes to something that I value and that's time and he is right on board with that. So we're very fortunate that we see eye to eye and that we are in sync with one another in that. I love the fact that there's no pressure. Neither one of us have any pressure on us to do Christmas shopping for each other. But I cannot tell you how taxing and how much space it required for me to order in all of these items and then categorize them according to what gift guide they would fall into. I understand that you viewers don't do what I do for a career, so you don't really understand that. But we have to step outside the box and think about what other people, content creators, those that are sharing goods, all that it requires, even doing fashion. I can't imagine, um, as much as I love fashion and beauty, to get all of that in when I'm a simple person. I don't like having too much stuff. So then what would happen after the Christmas gift guides? Well, we would have to ship it all back. Now, everything that I shared was gifts that I would recommend. So they indeed aligned with my gift giving style, with my gift giving taste, but I simply don't have enough people to gift these items to. I also don't spend a ton of money during the Christmas season. I don't see the purpose for going overkill. It's just simply not necessary. So this was too much. It was just too much. And because of that, something had to change. I would never have been able to keep up nor have the space of my home be full of all these items. So we took a shift and we started sharing images. And I'll share with you that my business manager, Haley, she and I work together as a team to create these gift guides. We dialogue, we talk about 
what we feel most people would be interested in, knowing that everyone has different tastes and you're buying for a variety of people. So we put our shopping brains together and we come up with these things. And then Haley creates images and an outline for me to share. But what happened is most people don't like that format. And believe me, I get it. I would prefer to see me holding something physical, holding a physical item, holding a, <laughs> a physical item, hold, holding something to show. You know, I, I get it. I'm right there with you. I'm a visual person by nature, but it is just, I could not possibly keep up with everything it entailed, not only for myself, but for my family as well. It was impacting them and they are my number one priority. So of course, I don't want to impact them in a negative way. Over the years, we've found that while I still get a lot of beautiful and wonderful compliments and comments on the Christmas gift guides and a lot of people acknowledging and validating the time that goes into them and being super appreciative, and I'm appreciative right back for that positive feedback, the views have gone down. They've just simply gone down, which makes complete sense. So for the work that we put in, we had to make a decision. And the decision that we made when we met in January of this year of 2024, we always have an annual meeting, is that we would step away from sharing Christmas recommendations on the space of YouTube in that way. Therefore, those Christmas gift guides will not take place this year and probably here on out but we haven't left you. <laughs> there is a Christmas gift guide and it is growing and growing and growing. A couple of different things. It's very important to be subscribed to my newsletter. That newsletter goes out two to three times per week anytime I publish a video and pretty much every Friday, even if I didn't publish a video. There's Christmas gift guides in each one of those newsletters with images. So you can shop the images. They will direct you to the LTK app if you're a follower or subscriber on there or if you use that platform. And then on top of that, all of these gift recommendations are saved on a post on my personal brand website. So you can go there and shop for anything that you want and everything on that post is categorized depending on what you're looking for. If you're shopping for a man, you can go to the section to shop for a man. If you're shopping for a teen or tween, there's a section for teen or tween. So it is very methodically, yes, can you imagine, methodically, <laughs> categorized. And again, I get a lot of support and help with this from Haley. She knows how appreciative I am. And thank you for recognizing all that she does to help out because I simply cannot do this all on my own when I'm running workshops, when my full-time tug is coaching clients one-on-one. -on -one. I don't have a lot of time to add these in. The other thing is I'm sharing recent purchases here on YouTube. I recently shared a recent purchase video and I have another one coming up right around the corner. A lot of you have shared that you're getting some great gift recommendations recommendations out of those videos. Also my empties video where I share everything that I use up. This is not everything I used up. This is what I'm currently using, but I share everything that I am used that I've used up, which there would be a lot of great ideas just to take away from there. If you like what I like and you think a loved one would like the same. The other thing, Instagram stories, you know how active I am there on a daily basis. There is a highlight titled gift guides. So you can go to that Instagram highlight, you can see the gift guides and you can tap on the link in there and it will direct you to whatever it is you're shopping for. In addition, I have another highlight called shop just simply shop <laughs> and I share 
links to anything that I share on my Instagram stories, they get housed in there and I clean it up daily. So as I add new items today in the shop highlight, I will go to the latest or, or the, the entries that have been there the longest and I will delete a day's worth to create space for what's new. So that is managed daily. The gift guides, they're managed all the time and they're being updated. So yes, there's gift recommendations today, three weeks out from Black Friday, but it is ongoing. It will grow and it will grow and it will grow and that's why checking out these other platforms and subscribing to my newsletter are so key so that you don't miss anything. We will also keep you posted of big sales coming up. So there's so many resources and I wanted you to understand why I'm stepping back from all the time and energy <laughs> that goes into publishing those on YouTube and why it's just not proving a return on investment for my time. It's not proving a return on investment for links being used. Also, I'm, I'm competing with with content creators that that's what they do. They their, their business is selling goods. My business is selling a service. That's basically what I do. I'm a certified and credentialed professional coach. I use these platforms to market my service. This isn't a hobby, this is a business. I use YouTube to market, but because I love all these other things, I want to encompass everything that I love and share them with you. But I'm, in, I'm competing with those content creators that this is what they do, they sell goods. And you have to watch that because they're also being sponsored to talk about some of these goods. So be a savvy and smart consumer. No one is working with me because that's not my wheelhouse. My wheelhouse is coaching and helping people like you live the life that you desire to master you, to master your life, and to live a purposeful, abundant life how you see it. That's my purpose. So in the description box below will be everything that I just shared with you. I will have some videos there that you can reference. Stay watching, be sure you subscribe, share the love, let others know about my mission, what I do, my ministry. Also be sure to be watching me on Instagram stories and check out those highlight bubbles so that you can find out what gift recommendations we, we the team over here, we the team, the very small but mighty team have for you this year. Um, again, I don't have to do too much shopping, but anything that I purchase, I'm sharing in those recent purchase videos. So be sure to check the one out that I recently published and stay tuned. I have another one coming soon. Thanks for being here. Have a great weekend and happy, happy shopping. Get on it. It's coming. It's coming. Christmas is coming. As always, it seems to show up every single year. And let me leave you with this. Never lose sight of the meaning behind the season. That's our baby Jesus. All right, take care. <laughs>